Hey there everyone, Jaggy here. Sorry it's been a little while since my last video, about uh, eight months, but I've learned a lot of things while I was gone, like how to shave a cat without his dad getting mad at you. Good life lessons. So Sony finally officially announced the Dark Tower movie for 2017. In case you don't know, Dark Tower is a Stephen King series where all of his characters from all of his different books come together into one big series. Carrie, the, the dog from Cujo, Kathy Bates, uh, the elevator full of blood, one of the lawnmowers from Maximum Overdrive, and uh, oh, and all five magical man children, which I hear, if this movie goes well, will star in their own spin-off movie. Yeah, Dark Tower is pretty much Stephen King's The Avengers. King fans are naturally happy about this, because it took him about 89 years to write the entire series. That is not an exaggeration, look it up. Some of them are a little concerned though, because some of the books take place in a western fantasy landscape, and some of them take place in New York City, and I'm pretty sure at least one of them takes place in Six Flags, and they're all wondering how this is going to pan out on the big screen. That's why they should take my idea. Okay, you know how Peter Jackson took one book and turned it into three movies? Well, they should take seven books and turn it into one movie. Think about it. You don't have that setting problem anymore, and then you've got one two-hour movie that is seven times better than any other movie ever. Why has everybody not been doing it this way? You've no doubt heard who the fans are wanting to play the different characters. They want Aaron Paul for Eddie, Brian Cranston for Roland, Haley Joel Osment for Jake, Aisha Tyler for Susanna, and Andy Serkis to digitally perform and voice Oi, the magical raccoon dog. All I know is, if Tim Curry doesn't return to play Pennywise the Clown in the musical number at the balloon store in book three, I'm out. Rumor has it that while the first movie will be released in 2017, the next six movies will be released erratically over the next 20 years. Tell me the Stephen King character you're most excited to see finally up on the big screen down in the comments. Mine's Christine. And tune in next time when we talk about the top 10 Stephen King books told from the perspective of a talking ape.